Hey guys, this is Locke. I'm going to try to do a uh, live video today of uh, my class match matches today. Um, this is my first time doing it, so I apologize if there's like random uh, pauses or something or not, not proper commentary. But uh, this is my team. Um, and these are my vision cards and espers. Um, so I'm just going to double check to make sure all my units are in the correct position that I placed them. Um, I actually changed my position from yesterday. I lost a match because, uh, mostly because of kind of like something that happened with positioning. So I'm trying out this position, and I hope uh, you know I uh, I win my matches. But we'll see. So right now, of the ten matches, I won nine and I lost one, the last one. So I don't have any streaks starting out. Um, if you're gonna lose a bunch of matches, it's probably better to lose them all at once, anyway. <laughs> so if I was gonna lose a second match, I mean, I'd rather lose this one than um, a match like, you know, 20 matches later. But I mean, the best would be to not lose any matches, but uh, we will see what happens. Okay, so I'm fighting against a Zazan. I wonder if this is an Earth team or an Evade team or both. Let's take a look. <clears throat> Okay, so this looks like probably an Earth of Eight team with Phoebe. Uh, let's take a look at the vision cards. Luck. Okay, so this is a full on Earth of Eight. I hope I have enough um, accuracy to hit them. I have Ninus uh, in my team specifically to give my team a little bit more of an accuracy boost. And I hope that's enough. Um, Okay, so he has those. Okay, so first turn, I'm going to use Knight's Blessing so that my units don't get taken out right away. Um, let's see. He can reach my units from there. So I'm going to, because I don't want to get double quickened, or quickened and... Um, uh, one second. Let me just see what I'm going to do here. So I will use Dragon Standard. Yeah, I don't want uh, their their ketone to come up and use stop on my 9s. So I'm going to move my 9s the next turn. All right, so let's take a look. Let's count the squares. So you can go there, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Um, that's still within range. Uh, I don't know, maybe I can just move here. Yeah, this team is a little bit difficult to deal with because there's a lot of different threats. There's, you know, first of all, high evade, and then there is the stop that you have to worry from, uh, stop that you have to worry about with Ketone. Um, well, at least there is no double quicken to have to worry about because uh, his his uh, Phoebe used a different spell. Okay, so he has evasion. Um, my Dwayne has decent accuracy. Uh, I'm hoping it's enough to hit one of them with something. <laughs> Let's take a look. Okay, so Duane Armor Crusher, 93%. Okay, that's pretty good. What about Ketone? Eternal Darkness, 53. That's not good, but he has that skill after all. So, Freya's Armor Crusher now. Uh, probably get one more hit after with the, with Quicken from Phoebe, which is what I'm which is what I'm hoping for. Uh, let's see, where can I position you? Where does this go off? Okay, it goes off after his Phoebe, so I can... Maybe move you here. Quick turn, Phoebe. That's not good. Okay, so what do we do with you? Um, I guess I'll just use that. Um, 
and then kind of run away because uh, I'm afraid of getting of, of my nine is getting stopped so for the next turn I'm planning now to hit with Duane and then run away once uh, once that quicken resolves okay so armor crusher again does he have yeah, armor crusher again. Hopefully he hits. Okay. It's courage proc. And his haste also proc. That's not good. <laughs> but uh, anyway, let's see. So where is he going to be? He can go up to there. He can kill my Phoebe. But if he does kill my Phoebe, then um, I will be able to kill him. So let's see what what he does. He's just quicken. That uh, it seemed like a bit of a waste of a move because I mean his um, his ketone was going to go anyway. Okay, so he stops my Phoebe. That's good, because now I don't have to worry about my uh, Ninus getting stopped when I kind of wanted my Ninus more than I wanted my Phoebe anyway. So that's not that's not bad. Okay, fake death, which is fine, especially because my Duane can remove that. Um, okay, so now I can use Drain Rush. Uh, Drain Rush plus one other skill would kill, hopefully kill this, but I don't know, <laughs> because what else can you do? Can you do AP Drain? Yeah, I need to kill this guy, because if I don't kill it, he will, um, damn, slow counter. Because if I don't kill it, he is going to use, um, what's it called? Uh, Drain Force. And I don't, <laughs> I mean, that's kind of hard to deal with, so well, let's see. I took off his shield because I did a three hit combo on him and I have a two chain so I'm hoping my Dwayne has enough attack but uh, we will see. Yeah, Saintly healing is not going to do much. He, I think it would have been better for him to just attack and uh, cut whatever level. Okay, so this is good. I can one shot this guy. I just want to, okay, that's fine. So armor crush and kill it. Perfect. Okay, so now I can play a little bit more defensively. Um, yeah, I don't, he sh shouldn't really be trying to heal. I mean, that's not going to heal much, uh, you know. Um, yeah, and uh, okay, so I can't really hit him right now, but I can move back and there isn't really much he can do. I mean, if he approaches my Duane, would probably one-shot him because I can remove the re-raise with his, uh, forgot the name of his skill, but he has one skill to remove the re-raise and also attack uh, Sazan at, in one hit. Uh, but for my turn, I'm actually going to reapply the Assault Field because I think it might have run out. Uh, now I don't want any, you know, misses uh, to ruin my plans, so um let's see so he can go there and then with the double quick and he can okay so i will maybe move here and use atonement okay so what is he going to do because his team is more focused on evade than attack. I don't think he can even one shot my uh my Ninus. So I guess this was one of the um one of the good things about fighting against uh, these Earth evade teams is their attack isn't as strong as uh you know like he c um like they're lacking in attack uh drastically actually. Let me use this. Um and you know what? I don't even have to engage. I'll just wait for him to engage or wait for my Phoebe to, uh, uh, yeah, I'll just wait for my Phoebe to come off a stop and then engage because I don't want something crazy to happen. Okay, my Duane can move there. One, two, three, four, five. I don't know if that's enough because I don't remember the skill. <laughs> which, uh, which, okay. Yeah, I don't remember the skill if it is range five or range four that removes uh, okay, he doesn't really have any range 5 skills, but so what he can do is he can just use Keen Blade and then check to see when he would go next. Okay, he goes there. What if I move there? Okay, I still get to go there next. So 
that should be enough. Um, he can't kill, yeah. Oh, and my Phoebe is done too, perfect. So my Phoebe is back from uh, the land of um, infinite stops. I'll just save my Phoebe because uh, there isn't really, yeah, we'll just move her here or something and save her because I mean her quicken would have gone off before Dwayne got a turn anyway, which doesn't really help much. But anyway, I was saying that um, one of the uh, disadvantages to uh, this team is that its attack is a bit low. Um, Drain Force does a lot of damage, but uh, as you can see, like he barely did any damage to my Phoebe, and my Phoebe doesn't really have that much defenses. Uh, he d uh, he doesn't have any attack, so his stop you know stops the unit, and then his Drain Force uh, does a percentage of health. But if you have high HP characters like, you know my, wow, he landed that on her. Wow. Okay. So I think it was this move that removes Rerays. Yep, but I can't use it on. Uh, I can't use it on Zazan because um, of the range. So I'll just kill off Phoebe. And I mean, I don't mind killing Zazan in two hits or one hit. Uh, I think he has Taunting Blade from that from that range. But either way, I don't expect him to really be able to do anything. So hopefully, this is a win for me. If need be, I can use Phoebe to Asuna. Taunting blade from that range. That's a bit strange. I mean, why didn't he keep? Why did he move forward? Because now I can just. Uh, because now I can just use um, that magic infuse from the, from the range that I'm at. Although I don't really need to even do that. But um, anyway, eighty-six percent chance to hit, and I hit, and I guess he re-raises. So. Dwayne has his work cut out for him. He can use any skill to kill him as long as it hits. Sixty-five percent. Maybe that's why. Okay, so I am actually not uh, interesting. But can I use? Yes, I can use that. Okay, perfect. Hundred percent chance to hit with um, with this. I guess my accuracy buff had run off. That's probably why it went down from like ninety-three percent to sixty-five percent. So it's a good thing that the evocation is up because uh, that's one other way of um, you know damaging uh, these rage units. One other method of dealing damage to them. So that was my first battle today. I have four more to go. Let's see what the other battles look like. Okay, so this is a Black Rose Helena. This might actually be a uh, Black Rose Helena with double quickeners. Um, I could see that being a thing. Let's see. Okay, so... Oh, it says Federica. So it's only one quickener but with the Federica. That's interesting. So how should I play this? I haven't thought about this kind of team before. Um, let's check. take a look at their... I guess I, have to, I, I would want to engage them as soon as possible. Uh, so let's see. Knight's Blessing. Uh, I'm just going to try to take a sneak peek at their cards. Okay, so that's kind of what I expected. Oh, that's a weird card. Ev evasion. Oh, that's not really what I expected at all. Interesting. Okay, so... Um, so my Duane is probably going to be here. After he grabs that crystal. So I will... Move you here. Dwayne, okay, so he can do uh, that. Okay, actually, maybe I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, so I will go with Atonement. Yeah, I kind of messed up my um, turn order, but that's okay. I mean, because I expected my um, my Ninus to go before my Duane, but then I realized by moving, moving Phoebe that uh, that order kind of messed up. So from here, one, two, three, four, five. So I can move one more and have him there. 
one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, he can use, uh, what's it called? He can use his arithmetician skill, but I hope that doesn't one-shot him. Um, she has a bit of penetration, and she can also remove shields, but I wonder which one she's going to do. Oh, he increased the accuracy. That's strange. I mean, I, I didn't think any of my units have... Um, have much evade. Okay, so yeah, that's really, really strange. Actually, I would have assumed he would have done um, something a lot different. All right, so one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Yeah. Okay, so if I double quick in my sorry, single quick in my Dwayne, he can get up to 10 movements, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, he should be able to hit one of these guys. I would like to hit Federica first, but sometimes that's not possible, simply because, um, you know, with a reflex. So if I have a chance to kill Black Rose Helena with one hit, that's who I would take. But let's see. Um, it's really interesting that he's kind of just standing here, kind of in range for uh, me to attack. I'm expecting him to do something with uh, like a quicken somewhere, but yeah, I don't know. That's really interesting. Uh, speed force, or because uh, one quicken isn't going to do anything. You're not even in range to attack anybody. This is really strange. Um, like I thought, I messed up my uh, starting. But I think he might have also messed up his starting as well, because this is a bit of a strange place for him to have his units uh, in. Okay, so uh, I am going to quicken you. Perfect. And then I'm going to move you... Where do I move you? Uh, kind of still out of Federica's range. That's not out of Federica's range. But, but if you're attacking Phoebe, you're probably not attacking my units. So, uh, yeah, here is fine. And then Dwayne is going to use Dragon Standard so he can move right across. He doesn't have to go around and waste time. Okay, and then Ninus. Uh, wow, he can almost kill her with that. Uh, let's see what else he can do if I go here. Linear spear shot, it's the same thing. Okay, so I guess I'll be on this height. If I get a crit, it's one shot. Perfect. I think Black Rose Helena is the best here with uh, with double quickens and, and trying to like wipe the enemies before they really get a chance. Yeah, so this is a one shot unless she reflexes. So I think um, the Black Rose Helena is, is a terrifying force in this class match, but if you're using her with uh, double quickeners, and if you also have Ketone's TMR, because basically on the very first turn after two quickens, she can reach any of the corners on the map, and she uh, usually like one-shots everything. So, you know, uh, you don't have to worry about getting any damage if you just kill everything in one hit. Um, of course, you can't, you know, you have to kind of be careful. And if you're using uh, Ketone's TMR, that means you're not using Garvel's TMR. And uh, if you meet a, an enemy with like very high magic resist, uh, you might be in a little bit of trouble. Uh, but you, c but I mean, I did consider her for a while with double double quickens because not o like if you keep her on the spell blade sub, you can also do slash damage. So um, then you only have to worry about somebody with very high spirit or somebody that has both high uh, magic and high slash. But anyway, so that's uh, two games down, three more to go. Uh, let's see who my third opponent will be. I hope people are still playing. I mean, I, I usually don't play this late, but um, I didn't get a chance to play earlier. Um, if nobody plays, then I, I lose out on three matches. <laughs> so I really hope I get to play somebody.
Alright, so I'm playing an auto opponent with a Titus uh, and his high magic, so I'm interested to see what's, what, what else is on that team. Oh, interesting. I've never seen a Severo in a class match in a very long time, so that's uh, interesting to see. Against auto opponents, I feel like this is really easy simply because um, I don't really have to do anything. I can just take my time and wait for my opponents to come here. Uh, he doesn't have any quickens or anything, so there's no surprise. I know exactly the reach he can go and uh, like there is no hurry for me to do anything, so I can just kind of take my time and wait. So I expect this to be an easy match unless uh, Severo can do something that I, I <laughs> you know, uh, that I didn't account for, which is entirely possible because I uh, haven't checked any of Severo's up. Wait, but he's only level ninety nine Severo, so uh, he doesn't have any of the upgrades. So that's that's fine. All right, so I get a double quicken turn now, so I can quicken. Oh, I can't. I don't actually get a double quicken, but I can go here and kill one of them probably, so I can do this. And I will move you a bit closer, uh, without, not in range, okay. Oh, it's not a one-shot kill, damn. I was hoping uh, he could kill her with one hit, but I guess that's not uh, possible. Okay, so in that case, I will just wait it out here and use Atonement to increase his damage. I don't expect Black Cross Helena to uh, one-shot either my Duane or my uh, 9S, but we'll see. So I'm expecting them to kind of move forward, and uh, when my Quicken goes off, hopefully Duane can kill someone. Alright, so Titus goes there. I think she might be able to hit. Oh, she can hit Dakra. Phoebe almost died, so I'm lucky she didn't. I probably shouldn't have left her there. That was probably a mistake of, on my part, but. Uh, so I can use this. Neither of them are one shots. Interesting, but I do a ton of damage to them. Ouch, that hurts. Oh no, does she get to go again now? <laughs> wow, that. Uh, I did not expect that. Oops. Yeah, sometimes these reactions uh, throw me for a loop, I guess. But uh, it shouldn't be too bad. Oh, does he not have the cyclonic spear thing? I guess not. Okay, can he do anything from here? No, he cannot. Okay. So, linear shot. Okay. Um. I, I'm not expecting Titus to, okay, to one-shot my uh, lightning element Ninus. If he did, I would have been in a lot of trouble. So this is I w this is um, actually going to be a lot closer than I thought initially, just because um, I kind of screwed up with the uh, positioning Phoebe and Dwayne, I guess. Okay, so I'm going to grab this crystal. Sure, let me just check to make sure he can't reach me. Yeah, he can't. Okay, so that's fine. Uh, I will grab this crystal and I will. I use. No, I don't even have to use anything. I can just wait here. It's probably a one shot. Oh, but he has. Uh, he has that uh, Halloween Rarius TMR. So it would have to be a two shot at most. It won't be a one shot. Okay. So let's see what I got. Linear spear shot. And then I get to go after his turn, but I don't think he can do anything really on his turn with even after he re-races. I'd be incredibly surprised if he does. Yeah, he's casting a skill, and during that time he is dead. So that was um that was an interesting yeah, I have to watch out for the Black Rose Helena even on auto, I guess. That's a lesson for me to learn. Um because she just does insane amount of damage. She can one-shot or two-shot pretty much anyone. If she had a damage buff on, that would have gone 
way worse than I had thought. So, um, all right, so three matches down, two more to go. It would have been incredibly uh, embarrassing, I guess, if I lost to an auto opponent after just saying, oh yeah, they, these guys are easy, they just run forward, you know. Okay, ooh, I haven't seen a 2B um, this class match yet. It's probably going to be an evade, uh, evasive opponent. So I have to, let's see. Level 53 uni. Now I had not um, expected to see that at all. I don't even, like, what is her agility at level 53? Why is this person using that? Uh, 30 agility. That is okay. Interesting choice. Uh, so at night's blessing. We just have to watch out for uh, Black Cross Helena's range, but he can't do anything from there. So I will just wait. Let's check out their cards to see if it's 2B is evasive. Okay, so agility. Some luck. Okay, so he does have a bit of um, evasion, but I'm hoping with the Ninus's um, assault field and the accuracy cards that I have, and I think I have an Alexander ring and also that other mushroom hat thing, not mushroom, that flan hat thing, Marsh marshmallow flan, I think, I don't know, whatever the hat's name is, uh, I think that should give me enough accuracy to, uh, to kill this. But anyway, so let's see, assault field, And then, um, so if I go here, nope. What should I use? Uh, I'll use Dragon's Standard for now. I think I should get a chance to go. Actually, his one, two, three, four, five, six. So he can hit my Dwayne with with his uh. with his, uh, what's it called, his um, arithmetician job if he wanted to. Uh, let me just double check to make sure my Phoebe can't get hit. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so my Phoebe should be fine. Okay. So what's he gonna do? So my Dwayne gets a double turn now and he has quite a high movement. Um, but can he one shot anything though? That's that's really the question, I guess, right? Because he has five, 5.8 K HP. <clears throat> so with my nine I'm going to uh, move next to my Dwayne and buff. Because I mean, my nine really can't uh, attack anybody. What's my Dwayne gonna do? He can do armor crusher. Oh, okay. So, but he doesn't, if he uses armor crusher, that is 22 AP. He will have 18 AP to do rising twilight. Okay, so that should be fine, I think. Oh, he's blocking it. Okay, so I won't be able to do, unless I can go around one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I can go around and, and still attack Black Cross. Unless. So that's not, that's not an issue. Annihilation Dance, okay. So I think the range of Raising Twilight, oh, it's, uh, it's just two. So I can move here. Yes, because I really want to get rid of Black Rose Helena. And then I will try for a quicken with my Ninus. Oh, never mind, that's not gonna work. Okay, so I will cast Protect on Ninus. And uh, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so my Phoebe is safe here, I think.
all right so what can he do uh wait she has revitalize right yep ap auto restore so that's not gonna do anything so uh instead i will use um drain rush Ooh, that almost kills her wow okay i'm not expecting her to be able to kill either of these but one hit from me and she's dead unless she has a way to restore hp which i don't really see and i mean hp is down anyway so she can't really do that it would be great if i can finish this match before uni gets a turn <laughs> but I, I really don't know why he uh why he brought uni because that's really strange to me like a level 53 uni i'm sure he must have other options with uh, uh maybe he doesn't i don't know maybe he just never bothered to raise any like sr units like phoebe i guess uh can he no he can't all right so just normal hit and then he left okay that was um that was the first time i saw uni um i think in any class matches ever uh but i mean i could have maybe foreseen playing against one or two unis just because of the new ex upgrade but i did not foresee playing a level 53 uni so that was definitely new <laughs> okay so maybe this is another uh, earth of aid team oh this one has um a summer lilith so this is interesting um let's take a look at the cards so n oh interesting so all earth no uh no agility okay so uh, start with knight's blessing and he has phoebe as well but i'm not that scared because he doesn't have ketone and i'm actually quite scared of ketone so <laughs> oops didn't get enough chance to move okay so i will use salt field stand here and then Dwayne is going to use uh, dragon standard stand here the reason i have to stand still is because i figured out that for my phoebe um if she moves then my other units will move as well if she doesn't move my other units won't move that's how i've kind of uh uh, optimized my um, uh, quicken turns so sh I, I didn't get to move her because I mean I was a bit slow to hit the you know the done uh, key so she didn't get to move so I didn't uh, want the others to move either for that reason all right but let's see so um, now do I want her to move now I mean I can't really even with him uh, okay so I'm just gonna use protect because I'm only expecting physical damage uh, and then start to move these guys a bit slowly okay so uh, um, okay I guess I'll use dark mantle because um, I'm not able to get my Ninus in position where he's going to be standing to use Ninus as a attack buff sorry nine assist defensive buff okay so she can attack but um yeah that should be fine so i will use oh but it would be great to use double resist but he can't get in range so i will use shield deployment simply because um my uh my Dwayne already has uh the defense uh defense and spirit up anyway from the buff that he already used okay so what's he gonna do especially once protect goes off i don't expect my Dwayne to be taking too much damage from these guys i mean they do have the earth attack up 35 card but still uh it looks like he is planning to go for my Phoebe I guess uh, that's what he wants to take out first because he's going all the way over there uh, even with uh, 
Even with the Quicken, I, I don't think he can reach Phoebe in the first turn, so at least I'm safe for one turn. In the next turn, if I get a double Quicken, or if I get a Quicken, my Dwayne can probably reach anywhere to attack any of these guys. Um, so I'll probably try to do that on the next turn. Okay, so did he even use Immortal Spirit? I think he did, right? Um, did he not get Immortal Spirit off? Weird. Okay. Well, he, he just stood still. I guess maybe... What do you want to do? Does he want to double turn Lilith? Or double turn Zazan? I don't know why he's attacking Phoebe, to be honest. I mean... Uh, like he can go and attack Phoebe if he wants, but uh, okay. Well, he he he's not doing that. He he, he quickened Lilith, and what's Lilith gonna do? Sentinel. Okay, I interesting. Okay, so I don't mind attacking. Uh, all right, so I get two turns. I don't mind killing Phoebe if I need to. So if that's all Dwayne can attack, I will gladly take that. Now let's see. Yes, so he can he can kill Phoebe. So let me do that. Um, let's see. He can't do anything from here, so instead I'm going to use uh, double resist. Then I'm gonna wait here and quicken again. And this time I'm going to. Well, let me see if I can kill her, which I don't really expect. Okay. Yeah, I don't. I didn't expect that. Uh, I didn't expect to be able to kill her, but I will use a skill like this and then run back. Now we can, so she can move to here, she'll have one, two, three, four, five, six, she has, so she can hit both of these guys, but she wouldn't be able to kill them, I don't think. And Phoebe gets a turn before anyway, so let's see, um, what's he gonna do, All right. Maybe he was trying to spread out his units, because, um, he didn't want a couple of them to be hit by the same attacks. I'm not sure. I, I don't know why he moved his Zazan to the spot he did. But I feel like that uh, probably was a mistake doing that because... Uh, okay, so... I don't really need to do quicken right now, so I will just protect... Uh, well, he already has protect cast on. Um, oops. Um, but yeah, I feel like the, the move that he did with Zazan over here kind of... Um, was a mistake in my opinion oh so he has more evade now that sh still shouldn't be a problem i think because uh i hope i have enough accuracy for it um but yeah that 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 kind of just uh s split his units up like that and didn't really give him a chance to uh like even when i attacked and ran back he wasn't in a position to really do anything uh in my opinion and I think uh, he also I think wasted one turn by not attacking okay so 100% chance 100% chance yeah this is fine um oh so she did proc that crap oh well I still don't think he should be I, don't, I still don't think he'll do enough damage to kill my Duane but maybe I'll be surprised well, who knows um Let's see. Yeah, okay, maybe he will do enough. Oh, Dragon's Blade. Wow, that was uh, a bit unlucky for him, I guess. Okay, so let's see. That's not gonna do anything. Um, Shadow Flare, 0% chance to hit. That's not gonna help at all. Quicken, when does Quicken go off? Oh, it goes off in a nice time. Okay, so this is perfect. 
Now let's see if her, uh, if whatever skill she uses can one shot my Dwayne, uh, minus 2000 HP, or even through a, because she probably has a earth slash attack and he, he, he has a three chain on her. So I wouldn't be surprised if she one shots my Dwayne. Yes, she did. Wow. Yikes. Okay. Yeah, I made a mistake there by, uh, 97% chance to hit. Okay, so attack once. I made a mistake with that um, immortal spirit uh, fumble, I guess. Alright, so hit again. Perfect. And run back. There's no need to just wait there and get drain charged again or something. Protect. Yeah, I thought I checked his uh his status is to make sure he didn't he did or he didn't cast Immortal Spirit, but maybe I just overlooked it. So that was a mistake on my part. But uh, thankfully things all worked out somehow. What can he do? Okay, so he can. I guess he can hit my Ninus, but that's not really gonna do anything. If he's just gonna wait out here, I mean, it's no real need for me to engage. I guess Sentinel. Okay. Like something else I could have done when he used um, the luck TMR, uh, if I thought that I didn't have enough accuracy to hit him because he was so far away and I was already winning because I already killed his Phoebe. I could have just moved all the way back and just let him approach me because if he doesn't approach me, he uh, loses out because he only has three turns of that increased evade. Um, and if he does approach me, I mean, I have a little bit of an advantage because I have a third unit and I have, you know, Quicken um, and I can kind of set up my units and, and so on and so on. But um, yeah, I mean, I, I really made a mistake by not accounting for uh, Immortal Spirit. But there were a lot of things that I could have done, which would have made it an even easier win, I guess. So if you're in that position where your opponent uses a luck TMR or an evade buff, and he only has one cast of it, and he uses it, um, you can just wait out three turns for for the buff to wear off uh, once it's gone, and then you have a much higher chance of hitting him. So I don't know what uh, evas is evasive gear he has. Like I'm assuming he has like Sage's hat or something, but uh, uh, I still had very high accuracy to hit. The only card that he was missing that didn't have evade was uh, the agility card, the 15% agility card, which also adds evade. So he, he was missing that. But um, otherwise, uh, he had all the eva evasive cards. He also had the luck TMR on, and my Dwayne still had a 97% chance to hit. If you're wondering what kind of accuracy I have, um, this is my setup. Now, my Odin has like all accuracy nodes, and then I have uh, 20 accuracy from this. Sorry, not 20, 40 accuracy from the um, Alexandrite ring. 20 accuracy from this, but I think it goes down to 10 because it's only 50% of it is applied. Um, and then I have 25 accuracy from the Black Rose Helena card. Uh, and then I have 40 accuracy from the Assault Field buff that Dynas gives. So that's that's my setup to get this much accuracy. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, you know, I, I would enjoy uh, to hear your feedback because this is the first time I'm, I'm doing like a live kind of uh, battle update as I'm fighting. <laughs> so uh, I'm sorry if it feels a bit stale or something or if it's like weird or awkward pauses. But this is the first time, so I would appreciate any feedback, even like criticism, because uh, then I can try to focus on the areas that you guys talk about. Anyway, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and uh, I hope to see you guys next time. Take care.